you know, we, we've been having this conversation for a year. Uh, it's been a year. And every single time, it's the same thing. It's the, we can watch a video, and it's like, man, you know, this dude's talking good, good stuff. You know, he's telling the truth. It's real. And then you read on the bottom of the page. It's like, he's stupid, you know. And it's like, like you were saying, this is why, you know, this, this is why I love watching the real AIX. I tell you, I watch my own shit sometimes. Because after I say something, I don't remember what I said. I can go through a whole video and not remember a damn thing I said. So sometimes when I go back and watch these videos, I almost want to bust a tear. And sometimes when I go back and watch these videos, I want to jump in there and flip out that shit out of myself. So, like I always said, my fans, sorry, fan is short for fanatic. And I was at a Prince concert and he don't call his people fans and I apologize for calling you a fan it's just abbreviation don't mean it let me go grab the phone real quick yes sir well I'm still waiting for the fool to call me back so other than that come on through bring the guitar with you we'll do something today we need some guitar uh, go with the electric. We're going to do some rock and roll. There's something I want to show you that I saw in this video game. Um, so I'm doing a video right now. And um, come on through. And then we keep on calling. I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. Oh, I'm going to hook up the music today. So the respect thing. I appreciate the fact that I love the people who watch me. Because if I'm wrong. Father, judgment will say, hey, you're wrong. If I'm wrong, Sergeant Willie Pete will tell me I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, Hitchcock will tell me I'm wrong. Helen Back will tell me I'm wrong. Boss Francis Coppola will tell me I'm wrong. London, Canada will tell me I'm wrong. Anybody out there who watches me can say, you know what? You're wrong. And then I'll be looking at it like, you know what? You know, I could have did this and I could have did that. But I'm not going to put somebody on blast for not agreeing with me. You know what that means? That means when you're in the playground, you sitting there on the playground, you playing with your uh, Legos or whatever, you know, little toy trucks or whatever, and somebody says, I don't like your little toy truck. And this, this is what it is. It is that junior high school, pre, um, pre-teen adolescence mentality that Fuck this nigga. This nigga ain't shit. He living in California. California ain't got it like we got it in the dirty, dirty. Don't you know he ain't shit? He's a bitch. That's what I get. I comment on Lil Wayne or somebody doing drugs and all these little. Wayne is God. Wayne is God. Wayne is not God. Wayne is not Tupac. Tupac is not God. Tupac is not Mac Dre. Mac Dre is not God. These yes are artists. See, they don't push no political agenda. They didn't do shit. They're just artists. And when you comment on somebody's favorite artist, you got motherfuckers about, leave Britney alone! Getting $100,000 contracts, going on the Maury Povich show for 20 Gs. Come on, people. When there's substance, like in what Hitchcock is saying, he's going to get some negativity written on the bottom of his page by somebody for fun. And I did a video on this yesterday, I think. It, I don't know if it's the what have we lost video or YouTube and Google pay for drama and hate on on, on the internet. And they do. Somebody, somebody's got to be getting something because if I feel good by saying negative some, something, something negative, if I feel good by saying something negative to somebody, how long is that feeling going to last? Hmm? Especially if I say something for no reason at all. Pitchcock, I don't like your hair, man. Is long. Why? What would the whole purpose of saying something negative be? Even if I didn't like somebody's video, well, like you're saying, no nah, man, I just had to dip the grid. I can't even talk to that. I'm off of the water. I can't even disagree with you. I mean, it's like if you said something, if they said something with any, you know what? You because I disagree with you, motherfucker. I'm like, damn. 
It's better than you stupid, dumb motherfucker. You need to die because you're dumb. Just another ignorant black man thinking he can change the world. I mean, it's so stupid. And I like I label people because I've been taught to do it. And whenever there's something wrong, instead of saying, that lady was crazy, that white lady was crazy. Instead of saying, that, that person over there did something stupid, that black girl did something. We always label people. And it's not just black and white or whatever. It's for everything. Look at that stupid. Still saying, look at that man over there messing up. He's, a, he's got to be a stupid motherfucker or an asshole or something. We can't just say, that's dumb what you're doing. Don't do that. We got to say, you dumb mother. You know, it's like, it's, it's, it's over, over dramatic. That ultra drama. Super dramafied. I like making up words. So, it's pitiful. Now, we the people of YouTube, the real people, you know who the real ones are, right? We don't parade. Put like this. The real ones don't sit there for five or six hours to do one video. I'm not going to make a major production unless I'm getting some major money. I can do major production. You've seen it. I've seen it. I've done it. I've lived it. I've been there, baby. But why should I do a major production on YouTube when all I'm going to get is some negativity and somebody telling me I can't be a partner because I'm positive? You might as well say that's why they, they won't let us run YouTube. Because if they put us in position for the world to see us, then the world would see Americans as individuals with, you know, they'll see us as individuals with uh, minds instead of seeing us as drones walking around beating up each other, living out the stereotypes that we were brazed into. Brazed. Bra I can't speak today. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I said I was going to cut my hair. Everybody made fun of me the, last night. So I tried to, you know, forget it. I don't care. I'll be bald before the end of the day. If not, I will screw with people all day. I did a video last night um, explaining why I left hair right here and explaining why I left my soul patch. You should have seen that video. So while the video was processing, I went in the room, played a game of Matt, and I came back and had a problem uploading the video. That video was so profound and off the hook because I know it was off the hook because I was talking some major stuff and then my son walks by while I'm doing the video and he says Dad you got a Hitler mustache there was a reason for this I don't have the reason anymore but I, I will keep it I like it I like one little piece of hair right there. Go all the way down like that. It's different. I've never seen a man wear such a mustache, such as skinny penciled like. I see from Austria or something. I'm going to bring this back. I'm going to bring back the Hitler. <laughs> At least that's what people call it, but it probably had a different name, an original, original name for that. But uh, The respect thing. On YouTube, a lot of people believe that you have to earn your respect. I have read what Hitchcock has written on the bottom of my screen for the past year. He has... He earned the respect the first time he commented on my video. Him, Helen Back, Dave of Jay, you can go way back. I mean, the whole realm. My, my boy, uh, damn, he changed his name so much. Uh, El Diablo 666. Uh, also known as Future Soldier and Father Judgment. I mean, if I'm not telling the truth right now, may an explosion blow through this window before this video is out and I live long enough to hit process. If there are more people on this YouTube, how come we still sit in the same room? How come when we say we're worldwide, we only see ourselves? Either we're being kept in the box. Well, pass it on.